have made it to the Wayne County Speedway located in Orville, Ohio. You can see the crew here at Wayne County is already starting to prep the racetrack. Welcome back to today's video though. Tonight is gonna be night number three of Ohio Speed Week. Night number one was at Attica, night number two was at Fremont. We had a night off on Sunday, and now we're back in action for six straight nights to finish off the week. Now the Wayne County Speedway, like I said, it's located here in Orville, Ohio, another little town that has a dirt track right in the center of it. This place is a 3 8 mile dirt track, long straightaways in very tight corners. I'm currently down here in turns one and two. In this end, it tends to get right up on the fence, at least from the videos that I've watched. It's almost similar to Tulare. A lot of the people that have ran California and Ohio have said that about this corner. Three and four, it's a little bit wider, and I don't think it banks up as much, so it tends to just get a little bit more off the wall. But anyway, we're super excited to get after it tonight. There's already so many fans in the pit area. The line to get in this place was massive, and if there was a spot I could watch the races from tonight as a ghost, it would be right here. You'd have the chance to see all the speed down the straightaway and all of us just get into the corner wide open so we're going to get after it tonight starting with qualifying we pulled a little bit of a lower pill so i think we're going to be going out in group two so many good cars i think this might be one of the highest car counts of the week as well as the fan turnout in the grandstands let's get the night started Qualifying is complete with the all-star circuit of champions at Wayne County. Night number three of Ohio Speed Week, and this is the toughest group I've had so far during the week. We have Kyle Larson, Ian Madsen, Cap Henry, and a couple other Ohio locals. That's one of the things about running out here is I don't necessarily know all the guys in my group, but I just assume they're all quick because there's just not a lot of people out here that are off the pace. So we ended up six quick in our group. We're gonna start sixth in the heat race, similar to Attica. Just gotta be up on the wheel. I have some really fast cars in those first two rows and also 50 cars tonight, the largest car count we've had. So going into this heat race with the racetrack, it's right up by the fence in one and two and just about a half a car length down in three and four. If I'm gonna make any moves, it's gonna have to be early, you know, right into that first corner. We're just gonna see what happens. Everyone's gonna be gassed up. I'm sure they're gonna be racing each other harder than ever. So we're just gonna see what we can do from starting third row outside.
I'm gonna use the camera here as a mirror real quick. Uh, racetrack is really dirty here at Wayne County. Even for our B main event coming up, I'm gonna put something in my helmet because the dust is actually getting in the helmet and then it's like driving with a blindfold on. Carly's changing gears. Dad's adding some more methanol to the tank. Our race car felt pretty good. One of the, uh, I guess, improvements you could say is we made adjustments and those adjustments felt better after qualifying. We just kind of tweaked on the race car. We were so winged over because you're flying at this place. So we tried to take some of that off of it. And then, like I said, we're making a gear change to help with some of our RPMs to get in the correct ranges. Started sixth during the heat race, got a pretty good start. But by the time I got into three and four, I just got a little high and I should have actually kept my foot in it. And I got hung up top. And once you get hung up there, I mean, you're just stuck for a little bit. So fell back to seventh. And then actually, once we got going, on the second start I felt like my laps were good I would gain on the guys in front of me then they gain on me I'm definitely much better down in one and two it just seems like you're able to slow down I was able to catch some grip three and four I still need to work on I feel like I'm just sitting on the racetrack too long I'm not going forward and so as a driver I got to figure that out and we're also going to make the car better for the B main event only thing that sucks about the B is we're going to start deep and like I said the racetrack's dirty it's a little bit difficult to pass because we're always just at high speeds we're not really slowing down a whole lot but we're going to figure it out and get some more laps around Wayne County this place is extremely tricky it's a lot about just keeping your momentum up similar to attica it's starting to slow down a little bit though i watched the last heat race for the sprint cars and buddy colfoid was really kind of letting uh, his tires settle down on the bottom off of four not really jumping on the throttle too quick until he was straight down the straightaway we're going to be rolling off from 12th in the b main event so we have our work cut out for us uh, top four transfer it's a little windy so that's going to continue to take the grip out of the racetrack but there's not a lot of grip out here i mean uh, you're just kind of trying like i said to keep your momentum up keep your race car straight and your tires under you here's one more look at the racetrack all right i'm trying something so i was advised at the start of the night to maybe cover up my fence and i didn't it wasn't bad obviously for qualifying the heat race though the track i talk about it being so dirty and it almost gets inside your helmet. So I just put some tape, I kind of look up. It doesn't look fancy, but it does the job and we're gonna see how it works. And maybe even in the future, I might do more. I know people try to cover this up or wear a rag or something, but you have to, otherwise you literally can't see. And starting, you know, 12th in this B, I'm gonna need to be able to see. So I think we're gonna focus on running the bottom mainly. I think that's where our car is gonna be good. We really tightened it up and I'm gonna try to get my wing back as far as possible so I can get down the straightaway because with my wing farther back, it's gonna put more, you know, downforce on those rear tires and drive me off the corner instead of skating so let's get after it
Well, Dad, we didn't make the show tonight, so that's disappointing, but man, another another good night full of laughs. Yeah, but these B mains are stacked. They are. I mean, a B main is an A main any day. I mean, the A main tonight is even more stacked than last yeah. night. Uh, Courtney and Peck and a couple other uh, locals are right there in that B main with us. The A main has so many good guys, especially we're watching those dashes, those top 12 cars that locked in. The 18T was driving. Check out where our wing's at. Wing is in the trunk. This thing was going down the long straightaways at Wayne County. Uh, only had a little bit left. You can see right there, it was pretty close to all the way in the trunk, but it was back far. That's what we had to do to get some drive as well as some other setup changes. For anybody that doesn't know about these wings, they're so important on top of the race car. Uh, the farther back they are, the more rear drive you have. The farther forward they are, the easier the car turns into the corner and it helps it really uh, turn on entry and get through the center. A quick turnaround though, the A main event's getting ready to roll out. We have flow on TV, but I'm gonna go up and watch it in person. Wayne County, very nice racetrack. I told you guys before the B that we wanted to commit to the bottom. Them, and that's what we did. That's really what we set our race car up for. I mean, the top was fast as well, but I figured it would just be dirty kind of towards the back or mid pack. And the bottom is just more my thing. So I kind of figured it out, especially in the later stages, the biggest thing I need to work on is just getting going in the first two laps because we lose a spot or two or three, then we have to pass those guys back. And by the time we pass them back and start gaining positions, the race is over. So the all-star guys are just that good. And um, the 18T is going to continue to get better and better. And we're going to do that by watching, learning, gaining this experience, and getting to all these new tracks. Well, they're about ready to shut off the lights on us here at Wayne County. What a phenomenal A-Main event. And for someone like me, I talked about it at Attica. It was great just to study what all the fast guys were doing. Zeb Wise put on a show for the first 30 laps, and then Larson, in classic fashion, caught up to him and was able just to throw a couple of sliders, put Wise in a bad spot, and was able to use the track conditions to his advantage, lead the last couple of laps, and bring home the $6,000 prize. Now, Wayne County, all the fans told me, you got to be up top. I know we really worked it in the B-Main event, and I wanted to kind of perfect the bottom and see what was down there. But the top side really got rolling in the feature. If we walk just up here a little bit, I mean, I cannot believe this curb that's kind of developed with this dirt pile and the mound almost that you can really just get your right rear in. And a lot of the guys up, up front, like I mentioned, were just up here absolutely pounding it. So a great show from the Wayne County Speedway and the track prep. You could move around, you could slide each other. Uh, the Wild Child was up there. It's great to see him at his home track, you know, put on a show. And I think another thing, I've been talking about the Ohio Sprint Car fans, and man, there's so many of them here. Every single time Jack and Larson were going at it for third and fourth, and whoever Jack was battling, the fans would literally get on their feet and just raise their arms, wave their flags um, when you go on by. As far as our night went though, I mean we had a super super tough group. We had Larson, Madsen, a couple other locals and it was great to race against them. The better the competition you're up against, you know, the better that you will become. So I think as long as we keep working on qualifying and then trying to be really good right off the start of these races, you know, heats, B mains, A mains, that's where, you know, we're really going to make some progress and improve our results. So the goal is to just keep trying to put it in the A main event, qualify good, and just put together a full night. You have to do that with the all-stars. You can't make mistakes. Otherwise, you know, you're just, you're stuck in the back and it's hard to, you know, make ground and pass these guys because they're all really, really fast. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It was fun to bring you along for night number three of Ohio Speed Week at Wayne County. And now we're moving on to night number four at Sharon, which I think is going to be a phenomenal surface for the 18T. We really like slick and slow. Just want to give a shout out though to all of our sponsors real quick. We got Lafarge North America on site screeners, Durango RV, Swindell Speed Lab, Ferguson, OMA KTM, Earth Environmental, Next Gen Def, Carson Oil, a Pit Stop USA, ABC Powder Coating, and then also Fast 4 Media and our whole crew for traveling along. We have five more nights to go and five more nights of learning, phenomenal surfaces, and great Ohio dirt track racing fans. It's great just to be in this atmosphere. See you guys all in the next one in Wayne County. I'm sure we'll see you uh, next year. Deuces.